Hello everybody. Today we are going to see how to use present continuous with future plans. What do we know about present continuous stems? We usually use it to describe what's happening now or to describe pictures and photos. Today we learned one more thing about present continuous. We can also use it to talk about arrangements in the future. So plans which you organize to do in the future. Let's review affirmative, negative and interrogative forms in present continuous terms. Affirmative form. The structure is subject plus verb to be plus verb ending in ing. We can see here an example. Subject, he, verb to be, is, and verb ending in ing, going. He is going to the beach. Negative form. The structure is subject plus negative of verb to be plus verb ending in ing. So we can see here the subject, she, negative of verb to be, isn't, and verb ending in ing, playing. She isn't playing football. Questions. Now, verb to be is going to be before subject. So the structure is verb to be plus subject plus verb ending in ing. It's very important, don't forget, question mark at the end of the sentence. So we can see here verb to be are subject, they, and verb ending in ing, having. So the question is, are they having lunch at home? Let's see some more examples. I'm having a party tonight. So some friends have invited me to their party. The future time expression used is tonight. Next example. Sue is starting an English course next summer. So she has already booked at a language school where she wants to study English. And the future time expression used is next summer. And last example we can see here, I'm meeting Emma after school. So I've talked to her and organized the time to meet. The future time expression here is after school. So future time expressions is so we can see here the most common time expression is tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, this Monday, Friday, next week, next weekend, and next year. These are the most common, but there are many more. Very important. What's the difference with going to? We usually use going to for a plan which hasn't been arranged. We can see here some examples. I'm going to watch TV after school. So this is my plan, but I haven't organized it. Next example, I'm watching TV after school. This is my plan and it's also organized it. And these are the most important things about present continuous for future plans. So now we have to practice. Are you ready?